All right, when you all have seen us do this before, we used a sponge-like thing, a bobber, thing a bobber. <laughs> we used like a sponge thing a bobber. Anyways, um, we don't have any of those, so I'm gonna try a couple different things and see what works best. So if you see me switching it, that's why. But um, yeah, let's just get to work. All right, get these two walls done. So we're gonna let these dry and take a break for a little bit and then get to work on another wall if we can, if it dries. Look what I noticed. You can see it really good with the, let me move the tripod out of the way. Look at that. See all those light marks? Here, and then like every other one. That is from the bed frame because we let the bed sit against that for about a year. And I don't know if like the sun bleached it or what happened, but because uh, it's like faded now and you can see it on the wood and it is what it is, there's nothing we can do about it. That's a mistake we made. <laughs> All right, guys, I have got two walls. Well, yeah, two walls, all good and polyed today. Two layers on it. Looks all nice and shiny. Let me show you. I got this wall all done too. Another fun day with Jen, pollying. Woohoo! Hold your excitement. I know, I know. So I'm not gonna bore you all too much. I'm just gonna film a little bit of it. So y'all see what I'm doing while Jay's working on the tractor. So, cause the little stuff, little stuff I do makes a big difference in the cabin too. Because we've been building the pantry here behind me. I'm gonna poly the sides and the shelving. That way I can, when it's dry, I can get stuff inside and start configuring it, which is super exciting. So let's get to polying. And you're right. So we're supposed to get a snowstorm, as they call them nowadays, when you get three to five inches of snow. I don't think that's a snowstorm. I think a snowstorm's anything like over 10 inches, at least if you live somewhere where you get snow regularly. Like if you live somewhere where you don't get snow regularly, yeah, different, you know, amounts can be considered a snowstorm. But three to five inches is like nothing. <laughs> especially for here in Northern Michigan. So anyways, um, before it snows, I wanted to come over here and grab these branches that we cut off the tree early this summer. They were already dead when we cut them. And I want to get them off the ground and into the pole barn because I'm going to use these dead branches to make a railing for the loft at some point this winter. So hopefully in the next week or so I can get to work on that. Just gotta get other things done first and figure out an idea how I want that. But yeah, I'm gonna get some of this dead wood.
All right, so got my branches inside the pull barn so they don't get buried in a bunch of snow with tomorrow's snow. And I can make a railing with some more. I might have to find some more dead wood and stuff. We're gonna have to do a little bit more work and find some dead branches and stuff on trees and whatnot. But I've got a good start. I've got a good pile in there already that I started this summer. Oh, it's a little sneak peek for what's coming at ya. So I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna be back to Polly in soon. Can do a, you? And make a thumbnail real quick. Point your butt at me. No. Point your butt at me. No. I need to do a thumbnail. People don't like that. Come on. Look how hard Jen's been working, guys. I've been working on the tractor and doing other stuff outside for the last couple days. And Jen's been pollying everything up. And the bedroom. Like, she's been killing it. So here you go. She did this whole wall, this whole wall, and the whole interior. You showed off all this in here you did too? Yeah. So she did this, this wall, and this wall. Look how nice it looks, guys. It like brings out the richness of it and puts a little sheen on it so it cleans up good. Not that we clean it that much because it's not like, you know, it doesn't get dirty, dirty, but... So see the nice sheen to it? It's not like glossy. It has a nice little sheen to it. As opposed to the ceiling has no sheen. Like at first I didn't want to poly anything. But you kind of have to because you've got to clean stuff. And it makes it, you know, so when you touch it, it doesn't get instantly dirty and soak into the wood. So she did this wall right here, the back of the pantry the side of the pantry and now she's doing the interior of the pantry check it out look how much space is in there you could almost like lay down in there it's so big yeah you should try see if it works for a bed for you yeah. Oops. It's dripping a little, but that's okay. Back in my days of middle school mime club, you were part of that club too, right? No. You were in mime club in middle school? No. You were too cool? You are too busy playing the flute? I didn't play the flute. The recorder? Nope. Something like a flute. I'm not a band person. I don't know what the instruments are. I should still remember. <clears throat> Clarinet. Is that what it is? Is that what the other thing that's kind of like the what did I say? Flute? Yeah. Flute isn't really a bad instrument. <laughs> is it? Or is it? A flute is, but it's not like a recorder. I mean, it's a... Clarinet. Is that what you played? Yeah. Isn't clarinet just like a fancy flute? No. I have no idea it's what... It's a wind it... instrument. Yeah, well... You've got reeds and stuff and... Well, what's a flute then? Just a flute's just a hollow thing with like everything like people play for like a recorder kind of like i don't if i don't know what it's called but a clarinet's more fancy it's like a saxophone but straight right kind of yeah yeah see uh-huh see is it black or is it all brass black it is black yeah did you actually play the yeah i played instruments for 
Yeah, but you, you told me when we first I, started dating that no, you did a lot my of... my senior year, I just kind of gave up because it was my senior year and it didn't matter no more. I was just in the class for a DZA at that point. So you did a little bit of faking? I heard you did a little bit of faking. The little birdie told me you faked a little bit. Uh-huh. All right. So Jen played the clarinet. I was in mime club. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do, doesn't it? Like, it doesn't surprise you at all, does it? Are you the only one in the club? <laughs> yeah, I just went to the mall by myself. And I didn't even dress up like a mime. I actually just acted like a mime. That, that wouldn't surprise me. You probably didn't even go to the mall, though. You probably just did it in your bedroom. <laughs> and your mom would come up and find you in a weird mime position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you did go to the mall because it had a food court. <laughs> <laughs> They're such a brat. Huh? Funny. <laughs> you tried to be a mime at the food court to get food. Yeah, I just stood in front of the Panda Express going like this. Yeah. So people would put Chinese food in my mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <coughs> See, funny. Oh, shoot. Timber, are you a needy dog? Well, go outside in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna take you outside in a little bit. I'm just gonna get these all done as I can get them. Sorry you had to witness that, guys. What, me being funny? No, I did a whole little skit behind you. Uh-huh. All right, thanks for hanging out with us, guys.